it's your girl Brie and in this video I'm going to show you how I upcycled two pairs of jeans. One of them being inspired by JB who is the leader of GOT7 and another pair being inspired by Juhan who is a rapper in Monsta X. Um, those are two of my favorite K-pop idols. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, I stand both GOT7 and Monsta X. I'm just obsessed with all the boys in those groups and my best friend and I are constantly sending pictures of these two to each other <laughs> on Tumblr um, and she sent me these two looks one of them being JB at the airport and the other being Juhan at the airport and she was just like these jeans are fire you need to recreate these and I completely and totally agreed so yeah I decided to recreate them for my channel um, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I have videos coming out every week. Um, I've changed from videos coming out every Tuesday because it was just crazy for me to put those confinements on myself. But make sure to hit the subscribe button because I will have videos coming out every week. Um, yeah, make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll be having a lookbook showing you how I styled JB's jeans and how my best friend styled Juhan's jeans. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into that tutorial. To achieve JB's look, I used an old pair of jeans that I wasn't really using. And I cut one leg so that it was at a slight diagonal and the other leg with a deeper slope. Don't discard the bottom legs yet because we're going to use that as a pattern. Using the cut portion as a pattern, you want to place it on your fabric and cut half an inch from the edge. I used a black shiny leathery type fabric and once it's cut out, you wanna put right sides together, pin along the side seam and then sew half an inch from the side seam. Forgot to mention, you only need a yard of this fabric. Once you sewn up the side, you should have your leg. The top and the bottom should be open. Now that we have our new legs created, we're ready to attach it to our top portion. So we want to make sure that our side seams are matched up and you want to make sure that the fabric is right sides together. Once everything is pinned together, now you're ready to sew. You're going to sew half an inch from the edge. Now we're ready to hem our pants. Turning the bottom up half an inch, we're just going to stitch that down. And there you have it. Our first pair of jeans are ready. To recreate Juhan's jeans, I thrifted a pair of light wash denim and I unpicked the waistband from the legs at the sides. You want to unpick about 2 inches from both the right side and the left side. This is going to make it easier to insert our little dark denim strip. Using a denim that is darker than the denim of the jeans, you want to cut a two and a half inch wide strip. Then you want to turn the edges a quarter of an inch so that they are nice and straight. Now we are ready to attach our side strip. So taking our side strip, we are going to slip it into that two inch space that we unplugged earlier and sew our strip all the way down the side. When we get to the bottom, I just turn that extra fabric up into the pant leg and sewed it down. And now your strip is ready to be sewn on. And that's it, you have some Juhan inspired jeans. I hope that 
that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do this tutorial, please, 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 pretty please, please send me photos of yourself rocking these jeans. I definitely want to see how they turned out. Whether you did JB's jeans, whether you did Juhan's jeans, whether you did all of them, I've been one. Like, look at you. You doing things. You like better than me um you can send those to me on my instagram and follow me on instagram my instagram is just at your girl brie brie um yeah that's about it i want to say thank you to my boys jb and juhan for the inspiration and i want to say thank you for watching all right i'll see you in my next one bye y'all